Give no place to the devil. The devil is a thief. And you must give him no place if you don't want him to rob you. He robs people, robs people of their resources, finances, wealth. He robs people of their health. No matter what you have, if you refuse to stop the devil, he will rob you dry. Every sickness and every disease is caused by the devil. In Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, the Bible says, Jesus of Nazareth was anointed by God with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good, healing all those who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Every sickness Jesus Christ healed was called an oppression, and the oppressor was the devil. So don't you ever think that your sickness is ordinary. Maybe you think you overworked. If you overworked, why did you overwork? Because of lack. Because you need more money. Why the lack? The devil is the reason. Until sin came, man never knew lack. Overwork, which is why some people claim they are sick, is because they want to get more. Why are you looking for more? Why are you not having enough? The reason is because of the devil. Sin came because of Satan. So if you understand from this point of view, from God's perspective, that sickness is an oppression of the devil, whether it is headache or fever or cancer or, or leukemia or arthritis or tumors or fibroid or barrenness or whatever it is. If you come to a point of knowing that every sickness is an oppression of the devil, you are on your way to freedom. In Job 2 verse 7, Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. People say common boils. Boil is not common. Come on. <laughs> boil is not common. People say I have only common headache. Headache has killed people. It is a work of the devil. You mustn't allow it. Fever is the work of the devil. There's no sickness that is ordinary. Sickness is a spirit. It is called the spirit of infirmity. Satan is behind it. You must see it from this perspective if you want to be free. If not, Satan will kill you freely. Nobody will pay him, yet you will die. But I know you will not die in the name of Jesus. That's why I'm here. In Luke 13 from verse 10, Satan bound the woman, the covenant daughter of Abraham, for 18 years. Unbroken years. Bible says, Now Christ was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath day. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity. 18 years and was bent over and could in no wise raise herself up. When Jesus saw her, he called her to himself and said, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. Now he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made and glorified God. You see, when you are healed, you glorify God. Sickness does not glorify God. After this one was healed, the ruler of the synagogue answered and in anger, with indignation, answered and said, uh, because Christ has healed on the Sabbath, he said to the crowd, there are six days on which men ought to walk. Therefore, come and be healed on them and not on the Sabbath day. What was Christ's response? The Lord answered him and said, thou hypocrite. Does not each one of you on the Sabbath day lose his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, think of it, for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? This woman's bondage or sickness was a work of the devil. Some saw her bent and they say they will have called it in name arthritis, but she was on the touch of the devil. And when Jesus Christ has said this, since all of his adversaries and enemies were put to shame, and all the multitude refused, reject, rejoiced for all the glorious things which were done by him. So, sickness is from the devil. Satan is out to steal, kill, and destroy. But Christ is here. He, is, he has come and he also sent me that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Everybody Christ here was oppressed by the devil. If you don't see it that way, 
you will not resist the devil. And if you don't resist him, he has every liberty to kill you. But I have come because you will not die sick. And I declare over your life today if you are sick, you are declared here right now. No matter the sickness you have, by the sent word, I decree your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Affliction by the devil with sickness or any disease comes to an end right now. You are loosed. Be free in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I will see you again in our next short video. Peace.